On the Great Plains of North America, birdsong marks the arrival of spring. Yet these prairies and their seasonal wetlands are quieter and emptier than they were 50 years ago. Grassland birds like meadowlarks, mountain plovers, and burrowing owls have suffered more losses than birds in any other North American biome. These losses signal a collapse that affects us all. The central grasslands of North America are varied and include the prairie potholes stretching from Alberta to Iowa, tall grass prairies in Kansas, short grass prairies in Texas, and the arid adapted Chihuahuan grasslands of Mexico. These Great Plains were born of a rich dynamic history that wove together the threads of an interconnected system. For millennia, grasslands have shaped and been shaped by humans and other species. Indigenous communities have long stewarded the plains with fire, plant harvesting, and hunting. Vast expanses of native grasses have adapted to thrive under regimes of regular burning, scarce water, and seasonal trampling and grazing by large herds. Wallowing bison created pools that became nurseries for a larger diversity of prairie plants. These, in turn, created more habitats that supported more animal species. Over time, layers of burned vegetation, animal dung, and deep plant roots created rich soils valued for their productivity. Today, grasslands remain foundational to all aspects of our lives, our economy, food security, recreation, and ways of living. And as the world continues to warm, they could be more vital than forests for carbon storage. Yet despite all they provide, our native lands are disappearing rapidly. The central grasslands once covered over 700 million acres. Today, only about a third remain. When native grasses are stripped from the land, the very system keeping soil fertile is destroyed. Once productive land is now reliant on chemical fertilizers and pesticides, communities are more vulnerable to erosion, pollution, and drought. And carbon stored for millennia is released into the atmosphere. Since 1990, more than $4.5 billion worth of forage has been lost to an unexpected problem, the rapid spread of trees. Decades of fire suppression and tree planting have led to losses that reverberate for all communities tied to grasslands. Ranching economies, school funding, public health, and wildlife all suffer. And yet, the central grasslands continue to disappear at a rate of over 3.5 million acres a year. This puts the destruction of the Great Plains on the same scale as the Amazon. By the late 19th century, bison had been hunted almost to extinction. The habitat loss that has since occurred has been catastrophic for biodiversity. With ancient migratory routes disrupted, pronghorn, elk, and mule deer populations have all shrunk. Indicator species of healthy grasslands like prairie chickens are in quiet freefall. Insect pollinators like native bees and butterflies are vanishing. These losses indicate a biome in collapse. But the collective wisdom and tools of traditional knowledge and modern science are poised to turn the tide. We can predict the places most vulnerable to loss, which can inform conservation action. We need to steward what we have and reconnect our fragmented grasslands and our rural communities. To stop further loss, we must empower the caretakers of these lands, allow grazers and grasses to sustain each other, work together to yield the most out of existing croplands, contain woody plants so prairie species can thrive, return fire to the landscape, 
and protect and reconnect grasslands so they can continue to provide food, rich soils, climate resilience, clean air and water, magnificent wildlife, birdsong, and wide open spaces with big skies. (laughs) 